right, so that's how I look at the moment. <laughs> If I am whispering, it's because it's 6.45 in the morning. <sighs> Today I take my gestational diabetes test. Diabetes. I just wanted to vlog for you guys a little bit so you can come with me and see what basically I really do. Well, let's look over like what gest gestational diabetes is really fast. Let me just sit down because <laughs> this is probably going to get me off just <laughs> looking at myself. Gestational diabetes happens in pregnant women. It happens when your hormones in the placenta block the breakdown of insulin. So this causes increased blood sugar levels that can be dangerous and pose risk to your health. It can lead to you having a very large baby, it can lead to stillbirth, it can cause low blood sugar levels in your baby once the baby is born. It can damage nerves, organs, and also other blood vessels in your body. So this is a pretty vital test to be taking around your uh, beginning of the third trimester. I'm 28 weeks right now, so I'll be taking my test at 28 weeks. Some symptoms to look out for is unusual thirst, dark and frequent urination, and fatigue. Usually from what I have read, uh, I'm a first time mother so I've never done this, but from my research I have read that they test through urine samples uh, that you leave every time you go in however this is more advanced test that they do where they have you drink a sugary glucose drink that i would be showing you guys and they do some blood work to test how your body is breaking down blood sugar levels and see if you pass or not and if you fail you have to take a three hour test so we're not trying to do that but we will see how it turns out so I'm gonna show you guys the drink I have. I got the orange drink, don't, ma don't mind my setup, but <laughs> so. Orange drink right here in the refrigerator and my directions. So this is basically what it looks like. I'm gonna go back over here so I can sit down. So this is what it looks like. Uh, so. This is just like a small little bottle and usually keep it cold. I'm going to put it back in the refrigerator until I have to drink it. Uh, my appointment's at 8.15 so I'm going to drink it um, 30 to 40 minutes before my appointment. Your doctor should be giving you instructions on how to take this. I'm going to go over the instructions that my doctor gave me it was wrapped up on the bottle i got my drink during my last appointment so i was able to just hold on to it and they told me to just drink it keep it in the refrigerator keep it cold I'll just go over some of the instructions with you guys the drink should be drank the drink should be drank you should drink the drink <laughs> 30 to 40 minutes before your scheduled office visit, you have to drink the whole entire bottle, the whole bottle, within three minutes. Please do not add ice to dilute the solution, but we are allowed to refrigerate it, so that's good. When you arrive to the office, please inform the front desk at what time you finish drinking the solution. So make sure you take tab on what time you finish drinking the solution. They must draw your blood, and this isn't all bold and caps, we must draw your blood exactly one hour from the time you finish drinking. So this is a very time sensitive exam. Make sure that you guys are writing down um, or making a note in your phone, which is what I'll probably be doing to make sure you know when you drink the solution. 
Although fasting is not required, it is preferred. So the last thing I had yesterday was a cup of hot chocolate. So I probably shouldn't have had that. They don't recommend you go on any diet. At least my doctor didn't recommend me go on any diet when they gave me the uh, drink. I have not had anything to eat this morning, nothing to drink this morning. So I am gonna do, I'm gonna fast during this whole entire time even though it's not required but it is preferred it says you should avoid eating or drinking anything with sugar content or carbohydrates protein foods are recommended if you take medication in the morning please do not stop them so ladies if you're taking medication you have to be taking in the morning make sure you still take them it does say on my directions that you can still take them with a glass of water just try not to drink it with the solution this is a screening test for gestational diabetes. If the results come back positive, you will have a three hour glucose tolerance test for a more accurate result. Please call our office if you have any other questions, okay? They're also going to be correcting any anemia. I know that I was anemic during my second trimester and first trimester, so I'm sure I am going to have to take some iron supplements when they draw my blood, even though my my prenatal already has iron in it, but they might prescribe another iron supplement along with vitamin C to help break down the iron. So I wouldn't be surprised if they do that. And they also have a note on here in all caps that please re or pre-register online with their hospital that they will be delivering at, which I already did. So ladies, um, I'm not sure if you've already done that by this point or if you're watching this video and you're getting ready with your gestational diabetes test i would look into where your doctor's your doctor office delivers and pre-register you can pre-register by going to their website and putting your information your insurance information and pre-registering for that they do recommend you do that a few months early so make sure you get on to that i feel like i'm being really loud i hope hopefully i didn't wake up my boyfriend but i'm gonna go get ready so i'll see you guys when i come back okay you guys i'm back i just showered my hair is super wet because i just got out of the shower and i usually diffuse it but i have no time and i'm out of breath but what's new so it is 7 43 i am going to drink this drink and hopefully i don't throw up because my mom said she threw up so i have until 7 46 to drink this so, I got the orange flavor. We'll see how it goes. Y'all, y'all slice this. This isn't even that bad. It tastes like orange coolie. And I just brushed my teeth. Oh, it gets worse. Hold on. I don't know if I should like shotgun this like a beer. Like, oh. Yeah, it does get worse when you start drinking it. Okay. I did that in one minute. Anyway, it kind of starts to burn a little bit. I don't know if anyone else noticed that, but it burned a little bit. It is 7.44, so I'm going to take a note on my phone. Um, I got the orange drink. It was refrigerated. It wasn't that bad. It literally tastes like Kool-Aid when I was sipping on it. But the more you drink it, the more it starts to like burn. I don't know if it's because I just brushed my teeth or what, but it's really not that bad, y'all. Just go for it, drink it, whatever. I got the orange flavor, definitely. If I were to have another kid, I get the orange flavor again. Um, so I'm gonna go diffuse my hair for like the next five minutes. And uh, I'll check in with you guys in the car once I get to my doctor's office. Also, in case anyone's wondering, I'm um, wearing like an oversized cardigan, a white t-shirt because they're gonna draw my blood today. Let's see if I can see. Yeah, your girl could still do those moves because um, I can't. <laughs> All right, I'm walking to my car now. It is cold and I have good hair. I really feel a little sick now after I drink it, so it kind of hits you afterwards. Not gonna lie. So I'll I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. 
Okay, so I just got to the doctor's office. I'm gonna try to check in with you guys once I get in there, but I know my doctor's office is very strict about recording inside of there. So if I don't get to check in, I'll check in with you guys after. Kind of running like a little bit behind. I'm still early to check in, but I'm gonna go ahead and go in and check in. So I'll check in with you guys when I can. Here at the doctor's office. Make sure you guys bring your mask. I mean, it's a given during this time, but uh, some hand sanitizer. We're doing construction, so this looks very um, sketchy. But I'm on the fourth floor. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna hit the third button and I already got off on the long floor, so we're already off to a good start. <laughs> so I'm in the bathroom if you're in cups here. And I have paper towels and things. I need it. here in the room I left a urine sample they took my blood pressure and weight you know the normal I had to pay a deductible um, I'll talk about it more when I get out of here but I had to pay a deductible um, they also have you sign a paper in regards to circumcision if you're having a boy so I am having a boy so I did sign for that oh, okay so I just got back from my appointment it was really fast other than the fact that you have to wait there until your your test is ready or they're ready to draw your blood for your test. I went back, basically it did the wait, you know, urine sample that you normally do, check my blood pressure. They had me wait out in the office. When I checked in, they had me pay a deductible. So I, that's something I wasn't really like sure of, but they had me pay a deductible. Why do I feel like I have a lash? I do they had me pay a deductible so they might have you pay something that your insurance is asking for when you go in so I did they also had me sign a form in regards to circumcision and what my boyfriend and I is this was in regards to that and insurance in regards to baby so that paperwork was done they called me back into a room they had me laid down. I met one of my doctors because we have multiple doctors at my doctor office that will deliver my baby. It just depends on who's on call, but you get to meet them all throughout. Well, you should be meeting them all throughout your time there. So I met a new doctor today. She basically listened to the heartbeat through a fetal Doppler. It was really cute. And I just asked her a couple questions in regards to insurance and what the deductible really was for because it's my first time so I'm not really familiar with where my money is going so um, I have insurance so I know a lot of the finances are being covered through my insurance but I still like to know <laughs> what I'm being charged for so there's that I was told that my next exam I will get the Tdap vaccine which is for whooping cough I will also get my 3d scan so I took my test at my 28 week appointment so now my prenatal appointments are every two weeks which is great because I don't know about you guys but I love coming to my prenatal appointments like I look forward to them I know some people are like scared about blood work and anything like that but I'm not really scared of uh, like needles or like having checkups and things like that so I get really excited for them so I'll be getting my Tdap vaccine. Also, I'll be getting my 3D scan. So that will be super exciting. It also said that my blood work, I won't get the results back today, probably tomorrow afternoon, if not the next day. So I'll check in with you guys about my results. They should be giving me a call. And I just have my fingers crossed because I really hope that everything is healthy. I mean, it's not the end all be all if I did not pass. I really hope that everything that I have been eating hasn't been doing harm to my blood sugar levels i haven't really been paying attention to what i've been eating to be honest with you i've just kind of been eating it as as i go so we'll see i'm a little nervous in regards to the results but i am hopeful that they will come back with the past result 
until then i'll check in with you guys letting you guys know my results on the exam so i'll see you guys in a couple days hi guys i'm back it's been two days since the last time i checked in with you guys i called my doctor today around two o'clock because i was told i was supposed to get my results by then but they've been slacking with reaching out to me so don't be afraid to call them i called and everything came back normal so i'm so blessed and i'm so happy to hear that even my anemia is corrected now so my iron levels are balanced and normal so that's great um, that basically concludes this vlog so if you guys enjoyed it make sure you thumbs up this video subscribe down below if you want to stay tuned to more pregnancy related videos and make sure to follow me on instagram and snapchat my handles will be linked down below that's all for now until next time bye wow i wasn't recording that whole entire time